G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to be looking at a multi-boot solution that could be um, one of the best I've seen or even tried uh, for quite a long time. Let's have a look at what I'm talking about here. Now, it's brought to my attention, um, I was watching a stream, uh, I think it was uh, Eng English Bob, uh, one of English Bob's streams, one of his live streams. wasn't watching it live, I was watching it back. And um, I think it was uh, Sergey that uh, mentioned Ventoy, and I really didn't know what he was talking about at first. And then on the Big Daddy Linux Live um, last weekend, I think it was on the, what's the date now? So it was on the, probably the 14th for me, the 13th in America. Um, somebody mentioned Ventoy and said, you need to try it. Big Daddy Linux said, you'll like this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he was right. I do like it. It's quite good. I've got some footage, uh, some pictures. They're not good quality, but I'll just take you through them. It's just, um, it's this here. What you see here is the uh, boot screen. So I've taken some um real life pictures of the boot screen and also a little bit of video footage. So I'll run that for you and you can check it out. So this is Ventoy, uh, this is the boot manager of Ventoy and as you can see I've got many many disks on here including Windows 7, um, Windows 10, Zorin um, and heap of, a whole heap of Linux ISOs and they all boot except Windows 7 I think I was trying that on a UEFI and that's probably why it didn't boot. It started booting and then it uh, then it stopped and that's probably because I was running under UEFI. Otherwise, it probably would have booted. Now, on the home screen, um, and I'll link this in the description below, we have some links up the top here. And the first thing you'll probably want to do is download. So I'll open that in a new tab so we can come back to where we were. We've got Ventoy for Windows and Ventoy for Linux. Now, I can't explain how Windows works because I haven't tried it in Windows. You have got the uh, Ventoy for Linux here. And what you need to do is download that tar.gz file. And once you have done that, once you have downloaded that, then um, you can extract here like so. And then you end up with this folder here. And the next thing we're going to be looking at is the uh, documentation. And what we're going to do is click on the Get Started. And that will link us down to here to start to use Ventoy. Now, it starts off for Windows, so we're going to go down for Linux. We need to follow this. It says these are the Ventoy options here. So you run this as root, sudo sh ventoy 2 sh Then you run the dash i to install. And then you've got to install it to device XXX, which will be whatever the name of your device is. And we'll work that out as we go. So there's a couple of other options here. If it's installed already, it might give you an error. And you can say capital I to force install Ventoy to that device, no matter installed or not. And then there's an update. So we're going to run through the basic um, install of that. Now I have got it on a disk and I've got many as you've seen on the um, video footage and the pictures and most of them boot up. I think the only one that's not recognized in that list is the Ferran OS one that is not recognized. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to plug in my USB stick. It's a 16 gig. The one that I had on the video footage and the pictures is a 64 gig. That's why it's got so many ISOs on it. But this is just, just a way to show you how that works. So let's plug that in. This is one of my USBs that I use 
um, quite regularly to install systems. I probably won't need to do that anymore because I've got this up my sleeve and I can keep a whole heap of latest long-term support ISOs and and anything I want to do I can just drag and drop into the USB it's that simple so what we need to do first we need to know the path of where the Ventoy folder is I just got to remember where that is I think it was in ISO and Ventoy and we can open terminal here uh, where are we open in terminal and if we do an ls for list we should be able to see well actually I think I need to um, what we need to do is probably go into this one and then open terminal here so you go into the Ventoy folder and open in terminal and then list that and we can see we've got the Ventoy to disk dot sh so now what we need to do is an lsblk and as you can see I've got my NVMe disks here NVMe 0, 0 and 1 and 1 and 1 um, what I'm interested in is the USB which is the different one of them all which is SDA now this one's got an SDA 1 and an SDA 2 now what we need to do is we need to unmount that so if we try sudo umount SDA uh, forward slash device SDA and password it's not mounted so what we need to do there is um, I'm not sure if we need to run sudo to unmount I'm pretty sure we do uh, let's just try it without it you mount um, if the SDA doesn't work then you have to do so because we've got SDA 2 and 1, I'm going to start from the furthest one, which is 2. So device SDA 2, not mounted. So we'll try arrow up and we'll try SDA 1. Now, we didn't get any feedback on that, so it's definitely unmounted. So what we need to do now is what the website suggests. is we need to sudo sh like so so let's just put that over here so for Linux we need to sudo sh ventoy so let's just do that and tab key to autocomplete and you can see in the list up here the green text on the right hand side here that's the one we want to run and we're going to go to device SDA now you will know it's SDA that you have to write it to because it's got shows the three X's not four so if it was an SDA one it would show four X's but it's only showing three so that's uh, that's how we're going to do that uh, actually I forgot um, let's go back there I forgot the dash I um, switch dash i for install and so a dash i there and install the device sda so let's run that now just remember this whatever's on that usb it is going to delete everything on that usb so make sure that you do not have any other usbs plugged in when you're doing this just make sure that you've only got the one usb plugged into your system or your hardware your device whatever it is just make sure you got the one US if you got your backup USB plugged in unplug it and take it out of there safest bet so if you do make a mistake um, nothing's gonna happen because there's no other probably dev SDA or whatever so just make sure you do that very important so it's saying you will install Ventoid to dev SDA all the data on the disk will be lost continue we've got to actually type Y to continue and then it'll say all the data on this disk will be lost double checking continue well yes I want you to continue and away it goes so now it's writing the data to the disk this doesn't take long 
and that's done it's as simple as that now if I have a look at my system I've got a disk called Ventoy and if we click on that and I'll open another um, instance of the uh, Nemo file manager now what I need to do here is copy and paste a couple of ISOs so I'm going to try uh, let's see Linux Mint 19.3 copy and paste Peppermint 10 copy and paste we will also do um, Windows 10 And that takes up a fair bit of room so it tells you down here for me anyway on mine uh, how much space I've got remaining and that updates as we go yes Windows 10 does take a while to copy over it's yet five five odd gig huge <laughs> so I've got uh, free space what's that saying 6.7 gig so we'll try Ubuntu copy and paste that and that's just about could paste a couple more but uh, you get the idea and we'll do that and I'm gonna have to film again with my phone low quality but I just want to show you um, how that's ha how that's working so that's a disk it's writing to as you can see it's um, writing to the disk currently and if we have a look on the screen um, it's just finished writing it's finished writing but it's probably still going so we'll just have to wait for that to finish although it's finished on Nemo it's still writing to disk anyway so I'll just wait for that to finish okay so I'm going to eject that I'm going to eject the vent toy from here And we'll take that out it's still flashing still writing to the disk so we'll just wait till that's done okay so I'm going to be removing that disk and I'm gonna that's my vent toy one there 64 gig I'm gonna take that out and put this in okay so what we're going to do is change this screen to analog um, analog let's choose analog it probably won't stay on there because there's nothing on there so let's start this up yeah it's gone back off analog so let's just check it again analog and there we go Ventoy and that's the ones that I copied Linux Mint 19.3 Peppermint Ubuntu and Windows 10 stuff down the bottom there and let's boot one to confirm that that works so we'll now this is in UEFI as well so some may not work in EFI let's boot peppermint and there we go let's boot that as you can see I've uh, ripped my screen apart on the computer it was totally gone um, so I'm running without the screen now I'm just using a another screen here it looks a bit ugly there on the back of the computer not much I can do about that and there we go running peppermint and now what we'll do is we'll shut down peppermint quickly Yeah, I'll press enter to and then we will boot back up again and I'm going to try win 10 Windows 10 press any key to boot Windows 10 and there we go booting Windows 10 that is the most simple process I think I could do for a multi boot and it works so easy I just cannot believe my eyes 
um, that's a great idea it saves me I can have a whole heap of discs on there if I need to install one I can install it I don't have to go um, messing around with USBs and rewriting all the time I can just put them all on one USB that's the ones that are supported anyway and like I said um, I think Windows 7 did not boot I think because Windows 7 doesn't boot in EFI I'm pretty sure I'm sure it's legacy only it's the only one that didn't work for me so there's Windows 10 and if we wanted to start installing we could so you know I've gone a little bit further than that screen it actually works so there you go and we'll turn the computer off so there we have it um, Ventoy very easy now if you wanted to I think also in documentation I think it is Ventoy compatible, maybe it's that one. So um, it says here, Ventoy is an open source tool to create bootable USB drive for ISO files. With Ventoy, you don't need to format the disk again and again. You just need to copy the ISO file to the USB drive and boot it. You can copy many ISO files at a time and Ventoy will give you a boot menu to select them. Both legacy BIOS and UEFI are supported in the same way. 260 plus ISO files are tested, so here's the list. And as you can see there, you've got Windows um, ISOs there, Debian, Ubuntu, and everything else. So it's got a list of supported um, distros down there, and there's quite a few. So check that out for yourself. It's on the main, I think it was on the main page. Yep, on under list. I'll link it in the description below anyway. So that was Ventoy multi-boot. Very easy to use. Um, just the downside is probably the command line um, install. That's probably the only downside. Um, but it's um, not overly complicated. I can do it, so you can do it. It's not a problem. It's uh, quite easy, as you can see in the video. So I'm very excited to be using this new application. I don't know how long it's been around for. They say it's fairly new. So good job there for Ventoy. It's a very handy tool to have. So that was Ventoy Multiboot. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting and informative. And thanks for watching.